and I'll make it easy. Watch it, I'll show you where the best cheese be. This is the cheese that I love the most. If you don't have cheese, you just make it toast. Step four, grab some butter, this bread. Or whatever, get another. Step five, yellow mustard, just adjust your hand and thrust it toward the mustard. And now your sandwich won't be bland. It's mustard, yeah. Six, don't forget this. Whatever you do, get vegetarian vegetable soup. Sometimes I buy one, sometimes I buy two. How much you want to buy? Well, that's up to you. Hey, please, 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 let's make some grilled cheese. It's so, so cheesy and oh, so easy. Please, 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 let's make some grilled cheese. It's so, so cheesy and oh, so easy. Step seven, lest you plan to go to bed in the store. It's time to pay for your score. And then let's head out the door. Step eight, back at home with the goods. That's great for the bread you procured. If you would on the plate, spread the mustard way out to the edge. If you still see your bread, spread it, spread it, spread it, spread it again. Step nine, it's time with the cheese on it. Flip the bread, make it lean on it. Flip it on the both sides and butter it up. Think you've got enough butter? Yo, time to double it up. Step ten, call your friends, grill the sandwiches. When they turn golden brown, flip them upside down. Make that sizzle sound. Meanwhile, cook the soup while your crew comes to you. Get the plates, set the table for the group. Step eleven, now it's heaven while you eat your sandwich. Grilled cheese, if it's soup, yo, another one, please. It's warm and I'm here to inform you that yes, it is normal to eat it before you need to reheat it. And you see that this grilled cheese is all gone. Same with this video. Yo, before it starts to drag on. So, hey, that's all for my grilled cheese tips. Until our next game ships. Thanks for watching, I'll see ya. Maybe next time I'll rap about pizza. Please, 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 let's make some grilled cheese. It's so, so cheesy and oh, so easy. Please, 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 let's make some grilled cheese. It's so, so cheesy and oh. Good evening, THL. I'm Quaz, and we have Last Saloon Standing tonight. Joined with me tonight is Cal. Cal, how are you doing? Good. How are you? I am not too bad. I'm feeling a little cheesy today. Then Ted. A little cheesy. How are you doing? A little cheesy. Um, good. Yeah. Just watching Cal get this W in Battlegrounds, but yeah, other than that, I'm pretty good. That's good. <laughs> And then special guest tonight is Lotus Knight. Lotus Knight, how are you doing? Hey guys, I'm doing well. Can't complain. And sorry, I was a little bit late. That's not a worry. It happens. It does happen. At least you showed up, which is more than what I can say for one of our hosts here. <laughs> You're talking about yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm allowed to bash on myself. That's true. <laughs> True. Yeah, he's got a point. Um, so the first thing we were going to start with tonight is uh, going over what Hero Series actually is. Oof. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's a that's a task and a half. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Hero, Hero Series, uh, we're, we're going to, I mean, we'll give kind of a quick overview. We're not going to like go crazy in depth. But so basically Hero Series, the way it works is uh, each player brings four classes. Uh, you have one ban. So when you when you queue your classes, uh, you continue playing the same deck until you lose with it. Once you lose with a class, you can no longer play that class. So basically what that means is um, that queue order is much more important because you can't it's harder to force specific matchups if you get a bad matchup in your first first one because now you're down a deck kind of the opposite of, of legacy like legacy you could just you can keep queuing um priest until you lose until you lose 3-0 right. exactly um so the the reason because you play a class until it loses uh would that means that you also can't hard target a class like you can in conquest because once that class loses it's out so you only ever get one win off of it so the i think the prepper the hero series really shines in preparation um it really rewards preparation i think more than um than a a conquest series does for that reason so Oh, excuse me. Your polarizing matchups are a lot more polarizing as well. 
Um, mm -hmm. yes, Usually. But Hero Series rewards polarizing matchups more so than Legacy does because they're less punishing. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I can bring a Control Warrior and then queue a different class first, and then I know what deck you have to queue so I can force it into my Control Warrior. Mm hmm. Um, so, Hero right. Series just rewards, uh, I think, creative lineup and uh, lineup building more so than than the other series do. Um, so that's honestly that I mean that's why I'm a huge fan of Hero Series. Uh, I think it's a lot more fun than Conquest. I think it's a lot more interesting than Conquest. It also requires you to have two uh, of the four classes that you bring. Requires you to have two uh, potential backup classes, or, or two potential. Uh, how do you word this? Uh, two potential counters, I guess. There yeah, we go. Counters. Uh, just in case you do have one ban and uh, the other one loses early, or if or if one loses early by chance. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. My big, my big like benefit to hero over legacy, or I guess LHS over conquest, is that. Conquest, a lot of times, it's like just flipping a coin of who's going to queue the better deck. Because most times, until one person is down to one deck, you don't know what you're queuing into. It's mm -hmm. random. In in Hero, it's a lot more strategy-based versus, okay, what do I queue now? Okay, what's the best queue? Blah, 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 stuff like that. Agreed. Yes. Uh, what do you think, Lotus? Do you, do you like Hero better? Do you like uh, Legacy better? I think it depends a lot on the meta for me. There are decks that I really enjoy playing in Hero because they just target more. Um, there are decks that just I really don't like playing because they target too much. So, for example, Quest Rogue is really good in Hero format. Odd Warrior as well. And those are some that I'm not a huge fan of playing against. Playing as can be okay, but I really hate playing against Odd Warrior or Quest Rogue. Um, at the same time, it is definitely a more, it's a format where you can vary more and not get as punished for it. Yes. Uh, I, I feel like Hero rewards kind of off-meta decks more so than, than Legacy ever would. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> so. Just because like, well, like, like you aren't as punished because in Legacy, you, you still have to end up getting one with that deck. And here, if you bring one off meta deck, it loses. Okay, whatever. You still have two decks that can get the job done. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, sweeps also seem to be more common in Hero Series uh, due to the way that Q order and stuff like that works. Yeah, right. So And Shaman Stone. Or, I'm sorry, yeah. sweep. Should I say sweeps are more common or less common? I think they actually might be less common because... I do believe sweeps are first. genuinely less common. Uh, you, it tends... A lot of the scroll lines I tend to see are more three ones. Um, yeah, yeah, you know. I I definitely said that backwards, so apologies. Because um, yeah, no, once you once you win your first one, I mean your opponent knows what deck you're on, so more often than not they're gonna get at least a win on you. Yeah, yes. unless their lineup is or the, unless either their lineup or their first two is just really off. Yeah, if you you might have very weird matchups. Sometimes you really expect it to go one way and it doesn't, even though it's highly polarized. That can happen, yeah, and that like is your opponent really hits desert hair of all on turn four, right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean I, 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 that's I mean, something we can talk about too. Well, I, I was going to say if you're not banning shaman right now, what are you doing? Exactly. Yeah, especially in hero. I, I tend to agree. yeah, I believe shaman last week was the most banned class. It should be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> by far. By, like, by yeah. far. Like, all the others there combined were, 14, were doubled. There were 14 Shaman bands and 3 Priest bands, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how are there 7 total bands? 17, because uh, 3 matches were no contests or DQs, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, and like you tend to get that one, a lot in playoffs, too, when you get uh, down, sorry, one team's was... already won. Yeah, no, that's that's right. Uh, yeah. For, yeah. Um. Sage, sage. Oh, uh, it's gotta be right. Yeah. Anyways, the uh, 
With that said, that's kind of the brief overview of LHS. How do you guys feel about jumping right into the corner final recap? Let's go. Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually have to pull it up here on... Uh, uh, I've got it right here. So we can do... Uh, we'll start just... We'll just run top to bottom, right? So Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have Notorious B.I.G.'s. Absolutely crushing KGB. Yeah. I, can't uh, I was way was... off on my predictions here. Yeah. Um, I'd say this is kind of how it was and I expected it to go. Yeah, you guys were definitely right. I do want to point out that uh, I had the faith in Booze taking their jammies, and he did. <laughs> Yeah, so. but uh, I, I love how your faith was if Booze gets the win, they're fine, and Booze gets the win, and they still just get steamrolled. Uh, and Booze is the only <laughs> one that gets the win. Yeah. yeah. That is hey, I didn't one. play. That's I just true. didn't play. No, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, well, at that point, there was no point in playing. Yeah. yeah. The series is over. Um, yeah. Sorry we didn't represent you as you deserve, Joe. Oh, no. You guys, hey, made further than I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I definitely was not expecting mako to go down um i mm. thought for sure mako mako had that but damn man anthful has had a crazy season yeah so. yeah I, I was gonna say that's where i disagree with you. and hero it's season hard. yeah it's kind of hard to bet against someone who's eight and one yeah well it was damn i see you oh, oh man it's actually i might all right, but um, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I'm, I wouldn't say there's really too many surprises here. Um, Donde beating twos again. I, I mean, I guess that's really one that could have gone either way. There was that was a coin or, toss, yeah. It was seven, seven one Donde versus six one twos. That's just a like you're not gonna be surprised to see either of them win. But then yeah, um, again, Ample beating yeah. Mako with the season Ample's having right now. That's not too surprising. No, I, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Lois. I was casting actually Donda versus Twos, and that was a good match for those who watched. Um, both players played really well. Twos has a headed lineup choice that I didn't really love, and we talked about it a bit. But he decided to go full control, or sorry, full aggro, and Donda just went full control. So that gave him a huge advantage, and it ended up leading to the win. Yeah. Yeah, that uh and that's where you can you can get away with a cheese of like full aggro or full control in um conquest, LHS. Back to the point. If you don't have a counter queue, you do tend to just kinda lose out. Uh other than that, no other real er, other than the uh, Anvil, Mako, and the 50-50. No other real upsets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you guys want to go over to uh, Saw Dude versus Tap Last? Yeah, um, I feel bad for Tap Last. This was... This, this was is hard kind of... to... This is hard to see. Yeah. I mean, can't say this is really a big surprise. Tap or a Saw Dude is, like, an insane team. Mm -hmm. Right. And yeah, I mean, there's not not a whole lot else to say here. Mm -hmm. Well, there's two sweeps in a DQ. Like to see two full sweeps in a match. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I'm actually some of these results do actually surprise me. TC Gamer taking down Snake three to one. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I'm not. Ex I'm not surprised to see Sanguine take the two. No. Mm -hmm. uh, no, Sanguine is on a tear this season. Medusa's yeah. taking down 8 bit. Okay. I know Medusa's has had a pretty decent season, but uh, I think that's a big upset. I think 8 bit is like 100% favored on paper going yeah, into it, that matchup. I, I mean, has Medusa's had a decent season going into that week? It was 2 6 Medusa's versus 3 5 uh, well, 8 bit. He's, he's 3 6. I would say that's, that's not. Uh, yeah, four, not, not, not well, 4 4 8 bit. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, 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 you're right. Going into last week, it was 2 6 versus 4 4. I'd say that's. Yeah. Uh, I'd say that's a record upset. Yeah, and so just I on th paper upset. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I also Silver has had a good season. Obviously, he ended at five, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I still think that Vol 
Volkai, if you... I think going into the week, I would have... Actually, I think I did say that. I thought Volkai was going to take the five, so... Um, so I think that's mm-hmm. even a little bit of an upset, too. So there's a lot of um, matches that kind of went ways that I would not have expected here. Right. Yeah. Personally, anyway. I mean... No, no, I, I, I definitely I thank you. Yeah. I mean, I can't say I'm surprised with Asadu getting the win, but I would have expected Tablas to at least put up a little more of a fight. Probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it, it's playoffs. It does com- come down to the one matchup, right? You, you have one week you've got to put all out there, and Asadu definitely put it out there and showed up. Mm-hmm. Tap, tap last definitely put up a lackluster performance against them. I but against a very strong team because I believe I saw dude was second. Yeah. So this was the two versus the three with a saw dude being the two. Yeah, coming it, over. yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, the two from purple versus the three from teal. Yeah, so like I yeah. saw dude was the favorites coming into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, and and that's just kind of how most of the playoff matches kind of went. Was the favorites did win. Except for yeah. uh, one of the later matches. Well, well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then <laughs> the Minutemen versus the Cult. The Cult take it uh, 12 to 7. Go ahead, Gloss. Uh, so, obviously, 3 0s Coles. Uh, the Big Ted 3 1s Liquid Ops, which is a big win. Uh, Shubaka 3 2s mm-hmm. Mr. Newt. I just want to say I called the Big Ted win last week. Yeah, and Jim Phillips 3 0s Super Murloc. <laughs> Yeah. Damn, man. Oh, Jim wow. is having an insane Oh, um, Jim well, has well, gone well, well, off. Had, had an insane season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jim went yeah. off this season, though, which yeah. is, like, good for him. He's He's been out here. He's been playing for so yeah. long. And he's always had Jim. kind of an average season. He was able to bring it to that, like, really strong level yeah. this season. Jim has, this season, Jim has beaten some of the best five seeds in Hero Series, oh, yeah. arguably. And, like, and, yeah. he's mm-hmm. had it. A killer season. Yeah, and and I was gonna say I don't think Super Murloc's an exception to that either. I'd say Super Murloc's definitely one of the best five seeds. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, uh, Super Murloc should not. Yeah, absolutely, because Super Murloc should not be a five seed. Yeah, he should be a four seed. <laughs> yeah. honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, yeah, but um, yeah, and it was actually looking pretty good for the Minutemen. They, the Jim Super Murloc match was the first match. They started out four zero. And um, um. Like I'm sure Quaz can tell you this too, but um, but Super Murloc came back. He was kind of sad. He's like, "Sorry guys, I tried my best," and we're like, "No, buddy, don't worry, we got this." <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah and, absolutely. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm also happy that Itachi didn't have to play and show off his threats. <laughs> uh, I do think Chewbacca beating Mr. Newt is a little bit of an upset. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously, is it? Big Ted. I think Big Ted beating Liquid Ox is also an upset, but I called the Big Ted win, so. Thank you. That, that, <laughs> thank you for believing in me, Kel. <laughs> um, actually, I was kind of expecting the four and the five to be re- reversed. I thought Mr. Yes. D would win, and I thought Super Murloc would win, so. Yeah. Yeah. But, hey, sometimes you just uh, you don't draw the nuts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then so. moving into the upset of the week, probably mm-hmm. upset of the playoffs. Well, I, I I mean, considering there's only this is yeah. the only week in the playoffs, yes, it would be the upset of the playoffs. Yep. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> and you know what? That's what we're going to roll with. That's the narrative we're pushing. It's the upset of the playoffs, which um, I want the record to show. I called this Tan Pam Surf Slam hey, beating the so bees. I. I know, but you're so not you're not you're not, you're not introducing it. I am. Fair. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, um, um, also, I'd like to point out in chat, Diamond asked for us to go over this matchup nice and slowly. Yeah. And, like, really, really cover all the details of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the uh, 3, 4, and 1 Tan Pam Surf Slam taking on the 7 and 1 Bs, who had just come off of a huge win versus their one seed opponents. Off of the one C counterparts of oh, uh, notorious B.I.G.s, just 
get edged out by the four seeds of purple in Tan Pam Surf Slam of a score of 14 to 12. Man, uh, I feel... Cal, you want to run us through these ma- this matchup? Because oh, you're familiar with it's... close losses like this. Yeah. <laughs> I was just about to say, I feel... Bees, I've been there. I mean, I would say he's also pretty familiar with, like, big crushing losses, too. Like, Kel just used to losing. Yeah, it's true. Uh, so... <laughs> We had uh, Lefty versus Run Mexico in the one. Run Mexico takes it three to two. Dirty Mike versus Jayak in the two. Uh, Dirty Mike takes it three to one. Brushy Tuna versus Mata in the three. Uh, Brushy takes it three to two. Pond versus Osmonaut. Pond gets the sweep. And then uh, It's Me Mike versus Copper Talon. Mike gets the win three one. Um, so I just want to a couple of these. Specifically, I think the five seed I feel like is an upset. I'd like to uh, say I called that five seed matchup. Saying that it's me, Mike. Yeah. You would uh, beat Copper Talon. You yeah. Did. I also did not expect Pond to sweep Osmonaut. Like I, I. Yeah. I think the match definitely could have gone either way, but I thought it was going to be closer than it was. I was definitely expecting it to be a two three either way. Yeah. Hundred percent. So, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, no, I, I, everybody kind of, kind of counted out tan pams cause they were going against, you know, the top team. And yeah. I don't know about that one. I, I would argue that they were the top team in teal in. Wow. Okay. All right. You know, I see close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Points wise, uh, they were the top team in teal. Yeah. Who was tan pams? No, no bees. Bees. Yeah, bees. That's what I'm saying. Bees was like the top team in in Tia. Yeah. By far. And, uh, I yeah. think I don't even think the other teams were close to them in points. Were they? They were still like ten or fifteen behind. Thought we were eight. Uh, no, bees had one fifty three. You guys had one thirty six. Yeah. So that's, yeah, like nobody was even yeah. remotely close yeah, to bees. Seventeen points behind. <laughs> but um. Yeah, honestly, I'm. Yeah, I think that's, I mean, like, predictions or not, that's still a very big one for Tam Pams, right? They, I think right. it was pretty, I think they kind of were pretty close thinking in the playoffs, so the fact that they were able to face a team who was 7-1 and one in the regular season and come up with a win, that that's big no matter how you, how I you put it. I also just yeah. want to point out the gigantic balls on Dirty Mike. Not banning Shaman and still winning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Honestly, that's... Yeah. Sometimes the chart says ban Priest. I I believe uh, it was literally any other meta but this one. But, you know, sometimes the charts say it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it never says <laughs> Listen, that man, right I, now. But if you're not banning Shaman, I think banning Priest is fine. Because Priest right that's now fair. has two archetypes that are, like, complete opposites of each other. And it's... Counter really, each other. Really, yeah, like they fill you... they fill the gaps that the other one doesn't. Exactly, they have opposite matchup spreads. So if you screw up and predict the wrong de- like the wrong archetype, you're in trouble. Yep, yeah, Kel. Uh, quick question: How much does Anduin pay you? Oh, he doesn't pay me. Oh. Pays I, he pays me in love. Oh. <laughs> Okay then. In in love and platinum portraits. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you have your thousand and pla- uh, Anduin? Priest is four. Oh, not even a question. Quas, yeah, cut claws. Really. I mean, I wasn't sure if you know Kel had ever amassed a thousand wins. No, uh, I have two one K portraits actually. Damn, I don't even have one. I don't even have five hundred, so I can't really talk. Uh, you're making me feel bad about myself. No, not gonna lie. Is, this, is I, it my internet crapping out, or is it everybody? Uh, th- just yours, buddy. No, mine is as well. Uh, okay. Close. In the middle of the show, please. Oh, did Kel dip? Hello? I changed the server. Kel said he'll be right back. Okay, I changed the server, so. Okay. Oh. Oh. Rip Kel Ooh. and rip our cams. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's there. Maybe. Uh, is that better? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what happened. That was weird. Um, I know I have two 1K portraits. I have priest and mage. Hmm. Oh, I have priest and warrior only. Yeah, I think my closest is I paladin with 750 ones. And that's my closest. Uh, to the Holy Wrath Paladin, I'm telling you. Holy Wrath Paladin is a good deck. Uh, I'm close with Rogue. I'm close with Warrior. And I'm close with uh, Paladin. I'm in like the 700 range for all of those. <clears throat> so. All right. So shall we move over uh, to quarterfinals? Or semifinals, sorry? Yeah. Unless anyone else had any thoughts about uh, quarters? No. All right, so my – there's only four teams left, right? Yes. Yep. Okay, because if you go to the current week yeah. on Teal, it's not correct. No, n no, it is because there's only one Teal team left. Yeah, there's only one Teal team. Yeah. Oh, is that why it shows that way? <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it, yeah, because if you go to purple, you'll see B.I.G. is called and the Sawdude Tam Pams. Because, because the Sawdude, a Sawdude Tam Pams and Bigs are all purple, purple. while called Teal only Teal. Mm -hmm. God, spoilers more sense what? what do you mean spoilers we just ran down the matches <laughs> <laughs> that's true he's got a point <laughs> what are you on i'm on yeah, team content oh my god all right uh Quas, <laughs> why don't you uh run us down your your match this week all right we've got notorious lames versus the cult wow with uh, Shim Jim versus obviously in the that one. That joke was L-A-M-E. <laughs> Donde versus Itachi, which is a very hype match after Itachi's been oh, begging absolutely. for all season. Yeah. That better be on stream. It oh, is. It is. Friday Night Fights. Friday Night oh, Fights, 9 p.m. Right. Eastern. I was going to say, with all the shit talking between those two, no. that better be no, on yep. stream. No. Uh, <laughs> trust me, trust me. As a member of the Friday Night Fights crew, I ensured it was on stream. Then we got Jamies versus the Big Ted. Anvil versus Chewbacca and Crackshot versus Super Murloc. Cause I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, you just beat Liquid Ots. I I think you can take on Jamies. Yeah, but I'm scared about her teammates. <laughs> These are some tough opponents, man. Uh, so yeah, because both Kel and Lotus are unbiased. One of you guys want to go? Uh, take your predictions first. Yeah, and there is only one correct answer. Uh, I am actually looking through these, and I believe the cult is actually the only team to have a positive record in every single seed. Yes. What? Are you not you looking? Oh, I guess Shim Jim has even. Positive. Yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah. Shim Jim is an even. More, yeah. 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 Uh, all right. I think Aviously takes the one. Uh. Jesus. I have no idea who wins between Dante and Itachi. That There's only one really right answer for that one. I will tell you that now. Yeah. yeah. Dante, because he's 8-1 and one and Itachi's 5-3. and three, But um... Jeez, Quaz, why'd you challenge him? <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm giving the two to Dante, because, you know, Quaz had to <laughs> had to be a turd. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I'm watching you, Kel. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to... I'll come back to that one. Uh, <laughs> I think Anvil takes the four, and I'm gonna give the five to Crackshot. So I think it comes down to that three seed match between Jamie's and Ted. What? <laughs> what? How would it come down to that match? You literally gave Bigs three. Wait a minute, goals. did I? Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, I you gave them Don. Aviously Don takes the one, and then you said Don. Don Day takes the two. Or? Oh, you're right. All right, get wrecked. <laughs> So, I'm um, not sure I agree. Out. But anyways, Lotus, what do you think? So I would say I think Itachi beats Donde. Um, My man. Love both of them, but I actually think Itachi has this match. Wow. I think I've, I played Shim Jim in Legacy. I ended up not playing him in Hero, but I know he's a great player. I know Avi is also a great player. I... I actually think Shim Jim is going to take this one if he can do in Hero what he did in Legacy. Traitor. Um, I do think um, Amphil beats Shu, and I'm actually going to bet on an upset with Murloc beating Crackshot. 
And I do think – I think Jammies will win, and that will end up tipping to the BIGs. But it's going to be a super tight match. I see how it is, Lotus. All right, Ted. You All right. No, but yeah, anyway, so I'm um, um yeah. Like I really I really want to find a way to give Colt three wins, obviously, but oh man. All right, I'll give Colt obviously in the number one. I'll say I'll give Itachi the two. And then I'll say Ample Craft take the four and five and it comes down to me versus Jameis. However, mm-hmm. I'm Definitely not ready to count Super Merlock out of the five seeds. I I definitely know that he's capable of winning this. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then also, I think what Quas we bet against like Chewbacca for the past three weeks, and he's won every time we bet against them. So you know, let's uh, let's keep that up. So you took the words right out of my mouth. I'm saying four one cult. Shoes the only loss. I've said this for the last <laughs> three weeks. We have won the last three weeks in a row. When I've said this, we are keeping this up. And I'm pretty sure right. she's won all of those. Yep, too. he has. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I I'm superstitious. If you're if you keep saying the same thing, it and works. The same thing keeps happening. It yeah. not the same thing keeps happening because it's been three twos, but you know, uh, guys. Apparently, all we have to do to actually get viewers, by the way, is uh, announce a new series and reveal team. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, we're 20 viewers. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> this is why we do the reveal at the end, because we got to make you stick around and deal yeah. with it. Yes. And mostly deal with Kel and, you know, Kel being Kel. Yeah. <laughs> That's very true. Right. I saw Dude versus Tam Pams. Yeah. I'm actually excited to watch this one play out. Same. Mm. Oh, yeah. uh, I... On paper, I want to say that I saw Dude is favored, but I saw what Tam Pams just did to Bees. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, Lotus. What do you think of this one? I think. Hmm. I probably have to give this to Assad dude because they overall have a better record. Only one of their players have a negative record this season versus Tampam's pretty mediocre. That being said. Tempams has a very different BR curve than the average team because they are much more middle heavy. And I mean, they have a 240 PR five seed. Yeah. So I don't think they can be counted out yet. No. Yep. I mean, they did just destroy the seven and two B or seven and one B. Seven and one so. seed, yeah. Yeah, yeah they yeah. were the two. <clears throat> All right. Um, I guess my predictions, you know what? I'm going to say a sawtooth takes. The one and the two with Snake beating Lefty and Sanguine beating Dirty Mike. Tam Pams takes the f- four with Osmanoff beating Medusa, then they take the five with Mike beating Silver Fox. And it comes down to Brushy Tuna versus Shiny Pants to decide the week. Damn, all right. I'm going to give a sub dude the one, two, three, and Tam Pams the four, five. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Quas? Quas? Uh, so I'm going to say Tampa states it. They are going to win three two. Uh, it's me, Mike V, Oz, and Osmona will t- pick up a win, and I'm going to say Dirty Mike beat Sanguine. Wow! Wow! All right, that's, that's a spicy bold. take. Yep. Oh no, man! Sanguine's been on a tear. I would Sanguine has been on a tear. Right. You are indeed uh, correct I would, about uh, that. I would uh, not bet against her right now. That's fair. Unless she was facing like Donde or something. Uh, even against Donde, man, I don't know. I think that'd be a good match. No, absolutely. But I'm just saying, like, I'd love there to are see th- that match. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, uh, based on our predictions, it's looking like it's going to be uh, the Cult versus a Tan Pam's finals. Do you know how long I've been waiting for this sort of final to happen between oh. the cult and Tan Pams? If I the, uh, uh, honestly, that would be such a hype final. In my opinion. I I uh. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading an obvious comment there. Um, uh, quick update: 
really fast. Maybe. We hit we hit 24 in duos. Did we? Nice. Yes, oh. we did. <laughs> nice. It... Uh, well, we hit 22, sorry. But we're still going with 22. Uh, and we'll oh, add wait, whoever's it's 20... left. Wait, it's 22? It shows it's on 24. No, it's because there's a blank space in the spreadsheet. Yeah. It, it, it... Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, because, cool. Yeah, because number 18 is blank and number 1 is the header. Yeah. Space. Yeah, this was in... Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, I can explain later. See? Throw me all off. <laughs> it's my fault. No, it's fine. I just can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, all right. So um, anyways, so uh, 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 now that we have this large crowd that's not going anywhere, should we all watch Cal playing game Battlegrounds before we announce? Uh, I... For every person that subs right now, we'll read one duo. <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah. other than that, why should they sub, Kel? Because I'm sure we're supposed to do that. <laughs> oh shit! Yes. Somebody just subbed. All right, there we go. We gotta read one. <laughs> uh, I am just trying to get it so I can actually pull up the names on stream. All right, so show yeah, we should we should pull up one by one though, just to make it more suspenseful. Yep, that's exactly what I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna do it. Uh, can you do that? I sure can. Nice. But anyways, you, yeah. Um, you this guy, guys just you underestimate very... me. Oh, nice. Thank so, our sub. Uh, Disco, thank you very much for subbing, man. Absolutely. Uh, by the way, Lotus, is that you that just dropped the uh... link? Yeah. Yes, link. I did. If anyone still wishes to sign up for Duo, we have it open until Fridays. We decided to extend a bit because we have time. Um, and because some of you might still want to sign up and have not found a duo, in which case, both on the Discord, there are many people still looking for duos. It's yeah. going to be a very fun tournament, and I think well, it will just be oh. super enjoyable. Yeah, well, yeah, I was going to say, Lotus, do you just want to run down the tournament real quickly? Format, sure. Or all that kind of stuff? Format and stuff for us? Sure. Also, if anyone has questions about format or everything that's going on, the idea... Uh, or for duos is basically we all tend to play alone and that's okay but at the same time it's really cool to play with a friend and at least i tend to play so much better when i have someone else to discuss my place and to tell me they're all wrong so because i need someone like that i thought it would be a cool idea to have people pair up for this tournament and um we open registration on saturday um, the tournament is going to be hero best of five, so just classic hero format, closed lists. Um, it's a great way to prep for next season. We're going to begin next week. Officially, we're going to release the first match at some point this weekend, so you can even schedule your match early if you want. And yeah, um, come to play. It's going to be really nice. Um, we're going to do... It was going to be double elimination, but we changed it to... Um, Swiss because of the number of players. Now it's easier to handle non-power of two number of players. Sweet. Uh, <clears throat> so, and we're doing, this is going to be LHS, right? Yeah. This is going to be hero format. So same as the hero you're all used to and love. Awesome. Love it. Uh, so the originally, like, the idea was to try to pair people together to help each other learn, right? Yeah, originally it was going to be a high PR and a low PR player, but we realized that there was more potential and it was to a lot of people more interesting if we just let you have a duo and just yeah. play with someone you have good chemistry with already and who you think you can learn from. Yeah, well, well, I mean, that's one thing I want to challenge people who are doing this is um, in, in the whole duo thing is the person who's spectating – like actually make the person playing talk through plays. Don't just be like, oh, hey, yes. you know, play this card. Because then nobody improves, nobody learns anything, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, something to think about, and this is something I do a lot. When I'm pairing with someone, I try to do things that I normally am not as good at. So I try to focus a lot on hand reading, which is something that I don't do a lot. Um, and I do stuff like that. So just find skills that you want to learn. If you want to learn how to hand read better, that's something you can do. If you want to learn just 
I think my uh, the player I'm playing with is really good at control, and I'm better at aggro. That's a great way to learn something. Absolutely. <clears throat> uh, do you know how many rounds of Swiss it's going to be, assuming we hit the 24? So we're thinking we're going to do four or five rounds of Swiss and then cut to top eight. Okay, so this is 100% going into the next expansion. This is. It's going to be interesting because oh. it's going to cut in the middle. And we're just going to we're going to have a break week. That is going to happen. We're not going to have matches the week of the new expansion because it just ends up being an RNG fiesta of who submitted the right class when you don't really know how cards work yet. Um, so to make it fair, we're jumping that week. That being said, you're still allowed to do your match early if you know your pair. So there's no rule saying you can't play that week if it's something you really, really want to do. Yeah. Just respect the other team if they don't want to. Honestly, I love like day one tournaments. It's so much fun to see the crazy stuff that people come up with. Yes, uh, yeah, that is true. Like, you, you get that one, like that one guy who goes, "All right, it's day one. Everybody's playing the greediest shit possible. I'm just gonna jam fucking face hunter." Like, <laughs> <laughs> you can just jam face hunter day one. That's usually a good plan. Yeah, uh, I think he said it was five or six rounds. Uh, my ended on, but that's assuming that we hit the twenty four. It may be slightly less or slightly more depending on the number of participants we end up at. Yeah. So um, I, yeah. So what? We got that one sub. So should we reveal the first pair then? Uh, uh, I think that means we should reveal one extra pair. <laughs> like, so we're I we're gonna do the first twenty, right? We can do twenty-two pairs right now with no problem. So if we get, we'll reveal twenty-one, and if we get a second sub, we'll do twenty-two. Okay. All right. That's nice. awesome. I like it. So I have it set up so uh, it show two. It's showing two teams at once. Okay. You guys ready? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, I was asking chat teammates? because I wanted to. Uh, oh. I, I, I get hype. Yeah. If I'm not seeing, what's our. Uh, what emote do we have? Oh, we have uh, one jet. Shh. I'm not seeing some sh in the chat. All right. All right. Let's. The Let's first, the first two pairings are now on stream. I don't see them. You're lying to me. <laughs> oh, there we go. <clears throat> oh, Mako and Booze. That's spicy. I like yeah. it. Yes. Uh, Snake and Icon. That's another good pair. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, they didn't give their team names, so I created team names for them. Okay. Um, for Mako and Booze, I call them the Crackly Mazer Mo Razor Moss because we have a two-star Saurus. Oh. I, I like it. Oh. And for <laughs> Icon and Snakes, it just had to be Iconic Snakes. Eye yeah. cake. <laughs> because team names were never a thing. That's true. I mean, I didn't... I it's, never it says right really in the sheet, was. team names. It actually doesn't. I did, actually we didn't doesn't. put it in. No? You're just what? Flat what? Out. Yeah, you're just flat out lying to people. Some people ask to have it, so we just said sure. Yeah. See, I see team names for stream on the response no, sheet. No, I couldn't. They, do. they yeah, DM'd put me. That in there. Oh. And I'm naming the ones that didn't send me a name. Okay. Oh, man, I can't wait to see the, what you come up with for, for me and my partner then. <laughs> uh, All right. Had a positive season. <laughs> 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 Uh, all right, we're moving on to the next pairings. All right, yeah. Ooh, Silver Fox and Medusas. I like that a lot. I like it too. Uh, Dano and Anthralamund. I, I don't believe I have so. No idea who that is. I'm assuming it's a new person. It must be. Yeah. Ooh, as it is not a name that I recognize. Do yeah. they? And uh, they actually have a team name, uh, Dano and Anthrolamond. Yes, they do. They named their team um, Drive South to Canada. <laughs> Is it? It looks like it's a Northern Exposure. They changed it. Oh, did they? So you yeah. need to update your forms, is what you're telling me. 
no, you need to refresh because it's yeah. So yeah, if you refresh, you'll see. my screen. Yeah. So I took a copy, so I because I don't want to edit oh. your form. So. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, they just changed it, and also I give a name for, or do we have a? We don't we have. We do have a name for no. Silver Fox and Medusas in the new form, which is Team Silver Dusa. Silver. This was just sent by him. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. And then yeah, exposure does sound good, yeah. It does. Yeah. And then yeah. we have Super Murloc and Quirky Turtle. Best team, best but, team. Yeah. Let's yeah. Go. They're winning this thing. Please, yeah. They are winning this thing. All right, please tell me their team uh, name so is the Dynamic Duo. They didn't give a team, so for now I named them Aquatic Friends. Ah, uh, they're uh, definitely Duo not just friends though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, so, it, no, 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 I I I got the best team name for them. They should okay. be team. They should be team name. If we lose, Murloc sleeping on the couch. <laughs> um, so fun fact: when I I like a couple of days ago, I DM'd Fuel and asked him if he wanted to be my duos partner. And he told you you were trash. Uh, in a roundabout way, yes. Uh, no, so, <laughs> so his exact response was, uh, not much point, we can't win. Super Murloc and Quirky Turtle already entered. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And then, uh, not to take away from the net to deal, we have Brushy Tuna and Dusharmo. Now that is a scary team. <laughs> yes, yeah, that is a very scary team, um... I think they're, I would say they're between the top five looking teams. Um, oh, I shit. nicknamed them Bruce do duos. Oh, man. We're going to have to do duos power rankings, aren't we? Yeah. Well, probably not today because we don't have all teams. Well, no, 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 not, to not do, today. Yeah. I mean, like, we're going to have to do for next yeah. week, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, why are you guys making me work? <laughs> <laughs> hey, anyway. blog post opportunity for someone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Somebody, somebody hit up Rankylytics. Get him in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, NPH. and then we... <laughs> did they have a team name? Um, Dusharmo and Brushy Tuna. Yeah. Um, no, I just called them Brusharmo because <laughs> it makes sense. Man, it could have been Brosharmo. <laughs> sure, Brosharmo is also nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then moving on, we have scuffed. H I mean, uh, Ron Metzko and Sage. What? Yeah. Yes. Is this like HSA one point five, like <laughs> pretty much. Yep. They are. They call themselves the South of the Brother Bros. South of the Border Bros. Yep. So we have two border related teams. Yeah, and um. Oh, the next one. I Go see. ahead, Quaz. Go ahead, Quaz. And then we have myself, Quaz, and the Big Ted. Easily bottom five team. <laughs> Easily scuffed cult. Yeah. I mean... it, 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 yeah, yeah. We, we are the scuffed cult. Wait a minute. I guess that means that my duo is like scuffed ass HS then. Yeah. Oh, 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 wait, so, wait, so, uh, no, hold on, Lotus. You said there's going to be four or five rounds, correct? Yes. Yeah. Um. So I'm predicting our records either going to be o four or o five. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with me as the pilot. Win this. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Also, I should mention that Quaz is the pilot. Yeah. Yeah. The first one is the pilot. The yeah. first on the left. Uh. Yeah. Actually, I am sure I can put that as a text. Now that I'm thinking about this. So. Um, uh. So yeah. I'm, I'm assuming our matches is going to be a lot of me screaming, "You dumbass!" At Quaz. Probably. <laughs> Yeah. Wait a minute, yeah. Itachi. Wait, Itachi, are you serious? I hope I not. Know. What did Itachi say? Uh, Itachi is gonna get. Oh uh, no! Please, please don't. No, no, so, please, no. Do it. Those, do it. Please, please, no. please do it. No, no, I'm scared. Yes. I'm for scared. those, for no. those of you who may be new to THL, uh, Eddie used to be known as Seo Hyun. Uh, he did used to play in THL. So, it would not be beyond the realm of possibility Please for this to no. actually happen. I'm scared. <laughs> hey, we have All some right, strong what? teams. We won the challenge. No, Itachi, 
pro gamer move. Get pizza to bring Eddie. <laughs> That's Stop true. Stop talking, Kel. Eddie and pizza, <laughs> man. That would be a duo. <laughs> no, but like, no, but like, seriously, that team will be insane. Like, are you really the best? Well, like the most skilled player to ever play in THL, teaming with Eddie would be insane. All oh, right, is that how it's pronounced? I could never pronounce his old name right. Um, yeah, her name's Sanguine. Uh, no, no I'm talking about Eddie's Eddie's, Eddie's old name. Eddie, oh, Eddie, Eddie um, Sohyun. Sohyun, say yeah. Sohyun. I don't know how to say it either. Uh, Something. I mean, we can anyway. probably move on. Yeah, boys, boys, boys. Just letting you know, it's nine fifty-eight. We're 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 running low. I know. <laughs> we're gonna show everyone and give them the. Uh... I, I I I know. I'm just saying. Oh, sorry, guys. We had a cut stream. We'll be back next week with the rest. That's not what I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> Stop bullying me, okay? Um. Hey, we haven't run over in like a month. All right, we're doing good. <laughs> yeah. And then next up we have Shiny Pants and Sanguine. Yes. Um I nicknamed this team Vampiric Night Out because it was the best thing I could think of. Um But this looks like a very strong team as well. Um very excited for this one. And then you wanna introduce this next pair? Lotus? Sure, I can introduce this bear. Um, I am playing with Skittles this time because we wanted to have an unexpected pair, and we've been having fun playing on ladder before, so I thought it could be a fun team. Um, I think our team is named No Tears Left to Cry because we thought two 29 year olds should have a name as an Ariana Grande reference. Of course. Uh yeah. Sure. Yeah, we can go with that. And we're very excited. That's good. All right. Moving on. We have Tris HS vers and Diamond as our next pair. And I believe they have a team name. They do. They named themselves Two Teens, One Dream. Is it Dream or is it Meme? Is a dream or meme? They changed it once, so I might have said the wrong one. Diamond, which because one is it now? I I have a picture here that says uh, two teams, one meme. Ooh, even better. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it is a great picture. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. Wait, is is that actually like diamond on a camel? Maybe. Yes. Yes, it I think is. That, I think that's actually Diamond, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that's incredible. I wish that I was cool enough to ride a camel. <laughs> that's, that's all I got, man. I, and I, 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 mean, I, I mean, I just wish I was cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you ride a camel, you will be. You're not wrong. All right. And then we got right. Ace, 103, and Jack Attack. Jack Attack must be somebody new to THL. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't yeah. recognize them there. Um, these are both Maybe New Zealand Mike. players, though. And Maybe they're naming themselves Team New Zealand. Okay. Are we back into World Cup offseason matches? World Cup offseason? What are you talking about? Yeah, we had the World Cup as offseason last time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Jack made HCT a while back. Okay. Nice. Yeah. This team should be really strong because both are great players. And I don't actually know who Jack Attack is. So they're both playing together in HG in global games? Yes, what? I think so. Wait, Ace is in global games? I mean, when, I you're, coming, is... when you're coming from New Zealand. Yeah. There, there isn't a very large population there. I mean, that's still an awesome accomplishment. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It is. Yes. It's Jack and Pathra? Wait, what? What? Oh, because yeah, Pathra is from uh, New Zealand. Yeah. Uh -oh. All right. Moving on. That feeling when Dear Jason and Sneaky Hero were a team. That's a throwback. <laughs> <laughs> 
So for those of you who are not aware, Dear Jason is an old Hearthstone pro who played in THL and then created an alternate account called Sneaky Hero and played in the five seed. <laughs> <Huh. laughs> Outstanding maneuver. Uh, yeah. All right, and then we have Myanodon and Papa Jason. Mm-hmm. Yep. The they call themselves Papa Don team. I think this looks also like a great Papa team. Dons. Yep. And they said they're going to serve everyone in thirty minutes or less. <laughs> I know if we they end up playing us, that's exactly what will happen. Uh, and then we have. I was gonna say I'd I'd be happy if it took about thirty minutes. Anyways. And then we have C Mac, and Bill Snyder. I love this team. Man, both of these teams this are team nuts. <laughs> mm-hmm. Serving hot and fresh L's to our opponent in thirty minutes or less, or it's free. So what happens if you serve him a W? Then it's extra free. Yeah, I mean, but what am I getting for free? I gotta know. What if I get paired up against him in round one? Like, yeah, dinner that night if I'm getting a free pizza. Like... Just bring the slowest, yeah. grindiest decks, even if you lose. <laughs> oh man, that's right. So does that mean after the thirty minute mark, you just straight up concede? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, my Don and Papa Jason. We need. We need explanation. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, too uh, far. There we go. Yeah, C Mac and and uh, Bill seems like a solid team as well. Yeah. So. Oh, absolutely. Yes. And then oh, definitely. we have Alien uh, Santa and Brick. Oh, there's one missing, right? Omsi's team. Oh, I. Uh, oh, so that oh, period okay. is. Oh, yeah. You um, before no, um, sixteen, no, yeah, seventeen. Yeah. You went to. Too far. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I did. You are indeed correct about that. Uh, Omzi and Blue Spartan seems like a good one, too. Man, there's a lot of good duos. Yes, this looks like a great team. Also, um, just because I didn't say it before, c and Bill has to be called Dr. Bill Nye Mad Genius. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All I can think of is Bill Nye the Science Guy. I, well, that's the idea. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I yeah. But now I really want to go watch Bill Nye. Oh, C Mac. C Mac said we skipped over their name too. Uh, oh no, no, no. He, you just did it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. And then is we have Brick. Someone new. Brick has played in our team. He played four matches for our legacy team. Um, we skipped Andrew over is a it, new-ish guys. player. Oh, is that Andrew number seven? I think in Discord. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Brick oh, okay. is Andrew in Discord. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Maybe I've, I've, yeah, I've definitely seen that name around the Discord. Nice. Yeah. He's playing with Alien Santa. It does also look like a solid team. I mean, any team that has Alien Santa on it, no matter who they're paired yes. with, it's going to be a solid team. I'm so happy to see Alien coming back to THL this uh, for, yes. uh, this offseason. Uh, and then we did accidentally skip over these guys, but Omzi G and Blue Spartan. This is going to be an exciting one because Omzi yeah, went... Definitely. Uh, what seven and or six and one, I think in uh the hero season this season. Yeah, I want to say it was something along those lines. In between the two and three seeds or two and one seeds, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it should be a very good team. And did they have a yeah. team name? They didn't. Um, we can call them Blue Omsi if it wants. Uh. Half of ATL yeah. also works. Uh, all right. And then I have to figure out. There we go. Then we just skip past 18. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and then we have Chewbacca and Liquid Ox. That's an interesting yep. pair. Okay. It is a very interesting pair. Um, Liquid Ox is a great player. He's been the three seed doing a pretty good job. And Chewbacca plays the four slash five, depending on the league. Um, I think they can do really well with Chewbacca as the pilot. Yes, um, Liquid Ox is an F two P player, so he actually builds his collection every season. Okay. 
So it's even better because of the transition for the new staff that Chewbacca beat the pilot. And then we've got it's me, Mike V, and Lefty two one one. That's another good one. <laughs> Wait, did Chew and Liquid Ox have a team name? Sorry, I am bad for this. Uh, I don't see one in there. I don't see one? Yeah. <clears throat> nope. Nope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do, have you come up with a name for them yet, Lotus Knight? Um, for Shoe and Shibaka's Liquid? In chat too. Yeah. We can call them Liquid Shoe. Liquid Shoe um, or Ox Shoe. Ox Shoe sounds better. I, I, I want to say Baka Ox. But because it sounds like sure. it sounds like uh, Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Could also be shoe docks. Yes, that, shoe docks. I like that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then man, these next these next two pairs. My God, it's oh we got it's me Mike V and Lefty two one one. Which do we have a team name for them? Well, from what they say, it's basically DBSS round two. That's fair. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually, that's. I think that's a really good pair, too. That is a really uh, good is pair. Is it like legitimately a one and a five seed? Yep. I think. Or yeah. actually, is, is Mike the five or is he the four? Mike is five. Um, <laughs> Mike is the five seed. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's like legitimately a one and a five seed. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah, I, I like to see that. Uh, and then we've got, yeah, hockey. Uh, is that hockey boys? It's hockey boys. Yes, okay. it's 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 hockey in Markshire. I cannot yeah. wait to see the ridiculous shit they build. I am yes. expecting <laughs> the High Keeper Raw and Mechatune decks. Uh, There's going to be a mogul cultist deck. <laughs> Listen, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> he could just whip out that Mega Wind Fury OTK <laughs> Shaman, too. <laughs> uh, then we have... All right, and did they have a team name for us? Um, No, they did not send me any team name. So, Hockey Shire? Hockey Shire, basically, yeah. Yeah. Mark Boys. Mark Boys, yeah. <laughs> Mark Boys. <laughs> uh... Then we have obviously an A2 battleship. Team fake Mark. Team fake. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is a uh, team spa, is what it looks like. Instead of Tespa, team spa. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Because from what I what I'm understanding from chat is uh, A2 battleship is. Um, a Tespa teammate of Avi's? Okay. No, I lied. Oh. Well, don't lie to me, Avi. It makes me upset. Mm-hmm. And we're, we're all here for my feelings. He is on my Tespa team, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got... I'm not sure what you were lying about then. I'm really... Yeah. <laughs> uh, then we have Pasca and Disco. That's an exciting lineup. Yeah, I yeah. Like that. Two, two, is good, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna say two, two relatively newcomers to THL who have definitely made a mark here. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Lotus so say my here. team name. Oh, yeah. Avi's oh. Team too. Yes. Um, Avi named his team um, Bro Momentum. Bro Momentum. <laughs> 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 oh, I thought it was bra moment. I didn't even like. Apparently, I read that completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then what's just one more team, right? Yeah, we well, have. Did Pasca and Disco have a team name? Um, not yet. No. Yeah. Okay. All right, and and uh, 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 last we have the. The team that Quaz and I are going to be competing with for last play. Woo! <laughs> it's true. But so, you know what? We're going to have fun. Go, go ahead, buddy. Say it. Uh, it's ahead. Saku and me, man. Yeah. Hey, Lotus, can name? you... 
I've been trying to come up with a team name. I uh, I've got a couple. Talk to Saku at all about it, but uh, yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> I, uh, and then, I I mean, I was gonna say you could always be boring. Boring. You are the owner. You could just be SKHS. Uh no, that's no fun. <laughs> uh, BM them with kindness or something like that, because you know I play priest, yeah. which means uh, on turn two I'm saying the light shall burn you, and, uh, and, you know, and Saku is like the nicest yeah. guy in THL. So, hey Lotus, uh, I, I also like ask KS here. Ask KS, I like oh, it. That is God. good. Holy, <laughs> that's insane. Uh, so good. I like. It. <laughs> so Lotus, I'm not asking you to rig the bracket so that Saku and Kel play Tad and I first round, but like <laughs> But you should probably do that. Yeah. yeah. How much do you want to put in my bank account? <laughs> uh <laughs> how much you ask him for, bud? <laughs> Don't say that. A, I've got a crisp one dollar bill. <laughs> 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 No, nah, um, well, the brackets are going to come out this weekend. We're hoping to have them on Saturday school stuff. Okay. Um, so that's the hope still to be confirmed. Um, that being said, there's still time to sign up. There's still, I'm still hoping to get as many signups as we can. We will go back to double elimination if we have exactly 32 players, but the plan right now is to stay in Swiss. Uh, what if we end up with exactly 24? Doesn't that work with uh, double elim as well? Um, double yeah. elim is much better when you have a perfect square because then you don't have people not having to play around. Yeah. So this is better otherwise. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. yeah, because what, 12 teams will get a buy, I think? Yeah. No, 18, something, some amount of teams will get a buy. I can't do math right yeah. now. But... Yeah, we, will, we were going to announce it today, but we decided to give more time to people who want to sign up. And for basically anyone who still wants to think. Um, that being said, participate. I'll post the link again in case you want to sign up. Um, we have space. We're going to have a lot of fun. It's a good opportunity to practice for a hero, even to find a team if that's what you're looking for still. Yeah. Um, it's a good way to show that you're playing well. And it will be a, just a ton of fun to play with someone else. It yeah, will indeed. Plus. Yeah, I was going to say, another thing is if you are interested in captaining Hero Series next season, please sign up. We're always looking for more people and new people to do it. Yes, I believe last I knew uh, there were 10 Hero Captains. Okay. Yeah, that's the less I heard. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, realistically, really please. like to get up to, like, what, 14? At least, at least 14. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I am personally not returning uh, as a captain just because I'm taking like a one season break as a captain. I'm still going to play, but um, assuming anybody wants to pick me up. Uh, but yeah. Don't make that mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm going to. Don't worry. I'll be back as a captain probably the season after next season. I just, okay. uh, just want to take like a one season break. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> Boo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, listen, you can only miss out on playoffs with a tie so many times before, you know, it just takes a mental toll on you. <laughs> I just think you're you have you're making excuses, Kel. Yeah, yeah, oh. absolutely. <laughs> uh no, I just uh I I honestly feel bad for my team this season. I don't think I put enough t as much time into uh into, you know, into the team as I should have and so I want to uh take a step back for a season kind of reevaluate and make sure that i'm 100 percent for my team when i do come back that's fair that is completely upstanding as a captain yeah. uh utmost respect for that decision mm -hmm. logos for our duos teams dude i'm way too lazy for that that, that is a lot of work for off season that's thing. too much work like all right i'm gonna go hero power somebody's face and hit threaten with anduin and screenshot it there you go <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can just send you all a photo of Ariana Grande. That's what you want. <laughs> Do it, please. Oh, and make sure you guys play on stream for that, because I, I would make it a point to either watch it live or watch that vod. Kel, Kel, yeah. I, Kel I, I, I hope you. What well, you're the captain, correct? Uh, 
uh, the pilot? Oh, no, uh, Saku is the, the pilot. pilot. Yeah, yeah, the pilot. Saku's right? the yeah. pilot. Saku is the pilot. Saku is the pilot. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, all right. Well, you better tell him he's only allowed to use the thank you emote, and that's it. Uh, I don't know, man. Anduin's thank you is pretty BM. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, but you're BMing them with kindness because it's still BM, but it's kind. That's true, because we are just bringing four priest decks. Uh, it's, <laughs> I, uh, you're going to have to talk to the organizer, but I don't know if that's allowed. Don't worry, I'm going to line his bank account. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 oh, no. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, don't talk like that, or Quaz will be asking how he can bring four Holy Wrath Paladins. I have to bring four <laughs> different heroes. I will bring Manduin. <laughs> I will bring Thousand Portrait Manduin. I will bring uh, Lazul, and I will bring. <laughs> Wait, I don't have. I don't have uh, Watts or Suck there. Tyrande. Tyrande. Yeah, I don't have Tyrande. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to buy Tyrande so I can do this. I don't think. You yeah. Can. I don't think. Yeah. She is coming back in December. Supposedly, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you just post the? Is that the uh, song doc with all the teams? <laughs> No. No, that's just a picture. <laughs> just in case someone wants to see a picture of Ariana Grande. Uh, that redirects to a go or to a yeah, YouTube yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, redirects to a YouTube video. Yeah, I'm just fine. <laughs> you will see more than a picture then. All right. Uh, but, so before we yeah. get out of here, uh, does anybody have any questions in chat? Does Lotus like Ariana Grande? That is an Lotus. excellent question. I am also curious. Yeah, Who so doesn't, know. right? Listen, and no judgment, Lotus. No judgment. Who doesn't like her? She's awesome. She's a great singer. There you have it. Name your four, top four teams in duos. Oh, God. Jesus. That's All right. Hold pressure. up. Uh, no, nah, this is actually really easy. Top three? I, 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 top, I like top three better. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do top yeah, three. Yeah, so. yeah I, I'll do top three as well. I'll do I'll 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 go third and then roll up. So third place is I think Bill Snyder and in, in C Mac. Second place is Skittles and Lotus Knight. First place is Quirky Turtle and Super Mario. Uh, all right. Uh, mine mine third place is Saku Kel. Second place myself and Quaz. First Super Mario and Quirky Turtle. How did Ted know exactly right. what the order I was gonna give it to? <laughs> <laughs> I think Ted and I uh may play too much Hearthstone together. <laughs> we just talk to him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Ace and my Anadon is also really Honestly, really good. yeah. Uh, no, my my predictions are I mean out I, I the the Quirky Turtle and Super Merlock was was kind of a meme. I do think they are a really good team and they'll work well together though. Yeah. Um, they have synergy. No, I do legitimately think that uh Bill Snyder, C Mac, uh Lotus Knight Skittles, and yeah, probably uh uh where is it? Um Hockey Boys and Markshire, I think, are going to be up there, too. Just because those two, like, Hockey Boys already thinks outside the box, and then he's going to have Markshire to back him up. I think those guys are going to do really, really well. Mm -hmm. I would add to this list, I think all of these are great teams. I think um, people might be sleeping a little bit in Ace Jack Attack, which I think is an insane team. I just don't know enough about Jack Attack. And I also think Ducharmo Brushy Tuna is going to be really good. Yeah, that is a really good one. Yeah. Uh, Mako and Booze is also <clears throat> really Yes. Mako and Booze will be a lot of fun. Um, and I hope we still see some even better teams, though. Again, sign up, please. Yeah, yeah. just uh, I'm waiting to see Itachi and Donde come in together. Oh, that would be fun. Oh, no. That, that, that has to happen now. <laughs> oh, that would be really cool. Yeah, it, um, it, um, no. Listen, I'm only gonna allow Itachi and Dante to come in if they like, if they record their voice chat while they're going and like release it to the public afterwards. <laughs> that would be a really fun team. Also, um, there will be an incentive for people to be on stream, and if you're on stream, we will share part of your talk on stream, so you'll be oh. able to see team banner and things like that. Yeah, oh, so we're gonna do it like Trinity series where we bounce. We're going to do Trinity style. Oh. Oh, that's Yo, awesome. all right. Trinity I for, listen, I was hyped for this before, but now I'm just like over the moon hype. This is going to be yeah. so fun. I agree. Oh, man. It's an LHS yeah. Trinity style thing that we're bringing to Hearthstone that I love. Or, 
to THL. I love that. Love it. Just uh, just wait until they allow us to make eight man battlegrounds groups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and just everyone BGHL. Chat at the same time. Everybody can start screaming. Stop taking my demons. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, no more junk bots left. <laughs> man, I, I'm like, imagine how much of a cluster that would be if we just had eight man THL battlegrounds where they're all on the board at the same time. I you have a few more amazing. weeks. I that think that would be amazing. Great. <laughs> um, but we have to have the ability to make eight man lobbies, and I don't know how yeah. we'll ever implement that into Hearthstone because it doesn't work with the UI, like. I I mean they would just have to make a new UI. I I thought that I thought they were going to do that eventually, anyways. I would imagine they will, uh, specifically yeah. for turn. Yeah. Make lobby, so. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but then again, it's Blizzard, so we're getting it in about five years. Hey guys, yeah. <laughs> don't worry. Battlegrounds has been out for a week, and it already has a more stats button. That is true. Shit, Hearthstone's been out for five years and we don't have that yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's taking a little while. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, All right, anyways. But yeah. Yeah. We should probably, uh, probably. Wrap it up. get on out of here. So, I'm going to post some random. Anyways, yeah, guys, thank you all for tuning in today. We had a nice, nice showing today. We all definitely appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh make sure you hit that follow button so you can catch all of our other shows. We are it looks like we're having shows every day but Mondays. I get back to every day but Monday schedules. With some yeah. days or with uh Saturday we have two shows. Yeah, yeah. The, I thought the whole point of the whole school school thing is we we're gonna do it on Monday. It's throwing everything off, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the people who wanted to cast it could only do Saturday. Yeah, no, it makes sense. It just sucks yeah. that I'm at work during that time because I want to yeah. play on Schoolstone like so bad, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, get all my play dissected. Been, uh... Sorry, get all get all your play dissected. Yeah, it's really interesting. Liquidox, the main issue is that he is in New Zealand, no, Europe. He's in Europe, so I don't think yeah. we can get him at night. Yeah, yeah, he's in a different time zone yeah plus who scheduled yeah. matches on mondays yeah that's true. well what do you mean schedules matches like don't right. they just do show matches and stuff i thought they did actual thl matches no um saturday oh, school song does thl matches yeah oh it is yeah yes oh i thought you guys just did like random show matches like you just got two people to come together and say hey play these decks so we can talk about it. No, no. We were going to have my challenger match last week, but we had some stream issues. Oh, uh, okay. All right, all right. I did yeah. get my uh, my slobs working, but so nice. I can potentially op at some point. Mm-hmm. All right. Speaking of ops, uh, make sure you hit up Donde if you have any interest in casting, oping, or anything like yes. that. Yeah, no, having match on stream. Yes, That's another big one. Yes. Yes, uh, all the matches on stream, especially for uh, semifinals. Yeah, that is the goal. And and especially especially for finals. Yes. Mm-hmm. But all right, guys, we should get out of here. Yeah. 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 All right. Anyone want to sign us off? Um. Yeah, I've been Ted. I've been joined by Kel Lotus and Quaz, and we'll see you guys next week for finals week. Hi. See ya.